Hi everyone, and welcome to Action for the Patient. In this episode, I want to talk to you about a new solution that I found for using Simply. Uh, so, I want to tell you that before I was using mainly the credit filter on the lens, and uh, I wanted to know what could be the usage and how in my workflow I could use filter order. So I decided to go with a 100mm picture order. This video is brought to you by TNF Concept. So TNF Concept, uh, if you don't know, is a company that is mainly known for the accessories they are selling for photography gear, like backpacks, like uh, tripods, or filter. And uh, yeah, I decided to go with the TNF Concept picture uh, order. And uh, as it is cheap in the first place, and as I wanted to know if in my, in, in my workflow, if in, if in my workflow I could use this type of uh, square 100 millimeter filter, I decided to go cheap. So my main uh, care was that, my main fear was to, to have uh, something that could be so cheap that it's not uh, sturdy, but finally, I'm very, very um, gladly happy to see that everything is from, is made out of metal, you know, so it's very, very, very sturdy. And, uh, yeah, I have seen this, and I'm very happy, actually, because you are this filter holder that is providing you, provided to you with lots and lots of uh, rings to adapt on your different things. Because, obviously, when you have many, many lenses, what is happening is that you will not necessarily have the same uh, size of the thread for your different lenses. And that is mainly my problem. That is the main reason why I wanted to try what could happen if I add uh, 100mm filters in my uh, workflow. So as you can see, I have put my ring on my Samron 72 300 USB, that is a 62 mm filter thread, and I have put it just above my CPR. The advantage here is obviously that I can use the CPR, and in the meantime, I can use one of the uh, 100 mm filters. So it's very simple, as you can see, it's your holder just like that. You have a button here to release and to free. And the uh, main advantage too is that it's rotating, so if you need to change your orientation to portrait, to landscape, or whatever, you will be always able to have your uh, graduating filter in the right uh, position or to adjust it again. So that's a very good plus. This folder is able to take uh, up to two filters. There are two chambers here, yeah. so you can take two filters. And uh, one of the main concerns when we use this type of filters is obviously that uh, the thing can slip uh, on the floor or whatever. So in the beginning, you are always careful to check if it can happen. But I have to say that the thing is very well done. So, as you can see, I have to slide it and press it down. So, my first, um, my first idea to try this type of thing was to try to go with um, one solution that in a concept they propose that is very, very cheap, that they call the 40 in 1. In the 40 in 1, you have the filter order with all the adapters. Uh, at the ring, but you have also 40 uh, filters. <laughs> I mean, I can tell you it's open. 40 filters of color, uh, ND, uh, graduating, whatever you name it. But um, the other side is that they are made out of plastic. You know, they are made out of plastic. So I was afraid that it would in increase the possibility of uh, having a color shift. And uh, I wanted to go straight to, to, to some glass. So I have taken this glass 
from Skinner's contract, the proposed NG graduate to stop, as you can see, to stop one, stop graduate to this one. And uh, I can tell you that the glass uh, is very good quality. I can already see that there is no, there won't be any problem of uh, quality. Actually, I'm already reviewing one of the NG filter tools. You can see from the for my circular uh, for my screen because I'm looking at the wire on the lens and uh, my first uh, demonstrate that there is no um, color cut. So I was pretty confident that this type of thing from uh, Spanish context doesn't have any color cut in it. So the filter itself is coming in a pouch that is actually very, very surprising and gladly surprising. In a boat, uh, you like uh, leather, I don't think that it's leather, but it's in the case where leather is really not. It has a magnet here, so that is cool. And inside, it's very soft, so nothing can scratch the, the glass, so that's a major plus there. And um, yeah, I will uh, try to put some, uh, some sunset. I have already done one sunset with it. I did this once for a sunset with a friend of mine. And I have said that I've seen that the, the, the results are very, very interesting. Now I will continue my test uh, on the field with this uh, rig. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident that I will continue with their, with their stuff because I find it very, very useful. And uh, for the price, it's, uh, it's able to, to, co to compete with uh, the best, like uh, they will. Aida and so on. So no problem with that. So guys, that is uh, my uh, first review of uh, this uh, NG filter uh, graduate with uh, from uh, Scanner Concept. It's more a uh, review of the uh, engine, but stay uh, tuned because I will continue with the uh, test uh, on the field and uh, we will see what uh, what we have here. Okay. And uh, don't forget that uh, yeah, I will. I will have uh, other surprises uh, from this uh, from this manufacturer. So that's it, guys, for this episode. So stay tuned and uh, see you soon.